Nice. <laughs> I'm gonna keep eating it. And welcome to my channel. I'm Nikki. I'm Adam. And today's video we have a snack and food review. So we've got everything in front of us. We prepped what we needed to, which was a kind of a couple things today, but I'm super excited to try some <laughs> stuff. So if you enjoyed this video or find it helpful, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And let's jump right in with a drink. So the drink that we're trying today is something that we found at Walmart. Actually, we were looking at an Alani packet, but then we saw the Celsius and decided to do these instead just because the flavor sounded really good. This is a Celsius energy packet. It is the flavor kiwi guava lime. So that's why we wanted to try it. It just sounded so good. But they're on the go packets that have essential energy, accelerate metabolism, and burn body fat is what they say. And this comes with 14 packs. One pack is 10 calories and zero points on Weight Watchers. And one packet actually contains 200 milligrams of caffeine, which we both had coffee today and we didn't realize that these are actually pretty small too to have 200 milligrams of caffeine in there. These are more like the Crystal Light packs and I was picturing like a big liquid IV. Yeah. But anyway, it says to make it with water and to use 12 to 16 ounces, which we have about 16 ounces here in this blender bottle. So I'm going to go ahead and pour the packet in. I have to smell it first and it smells really good actually. Ooh. So let's pour that in our water. It's dark. Yeah, it's not clear. That looks very refreshing. <laughs> it really does. I really don't need more caffeine right now. But right. anyway, zero points for this. Kind of smells like bubble gum or like it does. shampoo Ooh. or body wash. <laughs> it's really strong smelling. Yeah. But let's see. Cheers. Cheers. At first I was going to say it almost tastes like a Jolly Rancher or something. Is it sour? Yeah, it's a little tart. <laughs> yeah. It definitely, I think with like how we like to drink things, we put a little more water in it. Yeah. But, uh... I don't know what it reminds me of. It reminds me of like a Jolly Rancher flavored thing. I don't know. It definitely is sweet. Mm -hmm. It says it has green tea, EGCG, ginger, and guarana seeds. And it's just meant to provide energy. And the reason I wanted to try this is because it's not carbonated, which usually the Celsius drinks are carbonated. And sometimes that kind of upsets my stomach. So yeah. I wanted to see if we had an option that didn't have carbonation. But yeah. we're gonna on the say? side, it says that one pack is one can. I oh, just, okay. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. Makes sense if it's 200 milligrams yeah. of caffeine. It's interesting. Yeah. It's definitely flavorful and pretty sweet. I, I like it. Right? It tastes really good. Yeah. I feel like every time we try these, I say like it'd be like an option for like drinking alcohol with it or something yeah, like that, I but... I don't know about with the energy though, right? Oh yeah, with the caffeine though, that might not be a good idea with that amount. Three, two, one. Four and a half. Three and a half. Ooh. I just think that... I don't know. I don't know why I give it a three and a half. It's pretty <laughs> just like, it's average. It tastes kind of like any like Mio or Crystal Light drink that we get. Like yeah. it tastes just like that, but... It is nice that it has the caffeine in it. Like sometimes I just don't want to make a protein coffee, but also I don't want to have an energy drink that has carbonation. So this would be perfect. Then. Yeah, I think it is a good option for that when I need yeah. some extra energy. I just really like the flavor and that's zero points. So yeah, I like it a lot. And they had other flavors that sounded really good that I kind of want to try too. So lemon blueberry one that was very tempting to get. <laughs> <laughs> next time yes. we'll have to try that, but it's pretty good. Yeah. So the next thing we're going to be trying, we've tried these before, but the ranch flavor or cool ranch or whatever it was. And I actually had a lot of people tell me to try the nacho cheese as well. So we picked these up from Walmart, which is actually also where we got the Celsius drinks from. They were just by like all the crystal light and those types of drinks. But anyway, we got this in the chip section of Walmart for the serving of about 11 chips. It's 140 calories. It's got eight grams of fat, 15 carbs, one gram of fiber, one gram of sugar and two grams of protein. And that serving is four points on Weight Watchers. So we really like these. I think, did we finish the Zesty Ranch yes. ones that we had? Yeah, we finished yeah. those pretty quickly. <laughs> they were really flavorful and really good. So that's why I'm pretty excited to try these. They are gluten-free. Yeah, let's go ahead and give them a try. So they are like the colorful chips, like, whoops, veggie straws and stuff. It's the same brand as veggie straws, um, just they're veggie chips. So doesn't really smell like much, but no. let's see. Cheers. Cheers. The other ones tasted exactly like Cool Ranch Doritos. These ones don't really taste like regular Doritos, but they have a good like cheesiness to yeah, them. Yeah, really seasoned. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love that they're crunchy and salty, and yeah, I just love tortilla chips like yeah. this in general. So they're really good. They're very good. I definitely think I like the Cool Ranch ones better. Zesty I Ranch. Agree. Yeah, four points for 11 isn't bad. It's a little high, but I mean, any tortilla chips are pretty much like that for points. So these would be good for a snack bowl, like do like a mm -hmm. two point serving. 
This is something that I have to like portion out though, because I could just keep eating this whole bag. Yeah. They are very good. Yeah. I don't remember what I rated the Zesty Ranch, but whatever it is, it's higher than what I'm doing today, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one, four. four. <laughs> I knew we were gonna be the same with this one. Uh, yeah, I think I, I think we did four and a half for the other ones. That's yeah. why I went four. Yeah. It's a good option. We yeah. found them at Walmart. I think those are the only two flavors they have, but mm -hmm. definitely awesome. something we'll repurchase. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Okay, moving on. The next thing we're going to try is a freezer meal that we found. So we love a bunch of the Kala Power products that they have, especially like their chicken. We like their pizzas and their pizza crusts. And now they have these pasta dishes. So the pasta is made with cauliflower. It's got chopped zucchini and a tomato basil sauce. It's gluten-free. And let's see, for the serving of one and a half cup frozen, which makes about one cup prepared, it's 210 calories. It's got one gram of fat, 47 carbs, four grams of fiber, five grams of sugar, and three grams of protein. And that serving's five points on Weight Watchers. There's two and a half servings in the bag. So if we were to split the bag, it would be about a six point serving, which is what we did here. We each have a bowl and you can see it's actually a pretty good portion for six points, which this is something that definitely we could just toss like a Sam's Club grilled chicken breast on or something like that for zero points to up the protein because it's kind of low in protein, but we could add shrimp or like any type of meat to this or protein. All you do is cook it in a pan with some water and it took about eight minutes to cook. I was worried that the pasta was going to get overcooked because the sauce was taking longer to heat up, but it still feels like it's like firm, like yeah. al dente pasta. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Cheers. Cheers. I love al dente pasta. This is like the perfect consistency. Like it doesn't like sometimes when you get freezer meals or like this where you like cook them on the stove, the, the noodles kind of like fall apart in yeah. your mouth. This doesn't. They're actually like pretty firm. Yeah. And they have a really good bite to them. What do you think of that the sauce? sauce is so <laughs> I was going to say I figured you would really like the sauce. Yeah, I love tomato basil. I, that's and it's like it's like thick. Mhm. Mm and like so flavorful. Yeah, it's not, because when I was cooking it too, I was gonna say it seemed like it was a little runny and it does like kind of stick to the noodles and get a little bit thicker. Yeah. I feel like there could be like a little bit more zucchini maybe or more vegetables, but I do like that it has the zucchini in it. Yeah. This is something again too, when I add the chicken, I'd probably add some extra veggie mix too. I was gonna to. say, yeah, that'd be a good idea. But this is very similar to just like a meal I'd make at home. I just, I really like the cauliflower penne actually. Right. It's like the perfect consistency. Right? Yeah, the noodles are, yeah, especially from like frozen to cooked noodles, which is yeah. not common, like that, they cooked very well. And what do you think about like, do you taste cauliflower? No, honestly, I, I, don't, I think that the sauce overpowers it almost. Is like, that what it is? I, I think so. I was just trying to see like tasting a noodle, do you taste the cauliflower? Not really. Cause I feel like with the crust and the chicken, like when we make the chicken, you just smell cauliflower. Yeah. But like with this, I don't really taste it. And no. you can't really tell that it is cauliflower. That's why I feel like the sauce just like kind of masks it a lot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you can only smell it. it. Yeah, it smells a little farty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it says it has two servings of veggies. It's gluten-free, plant-based. So, that's and that's good. I think in one serving it has two servings of veggies. But that is really good. <laughs> Three, two, one, four. Four and a half. I was debating between a four and a four and a half. I should have just done it. What, but I was gonna say, what pushed you to four? Um, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I feel <laughs> you, like you have no explanation. I'm really struggling with my ratings today because like honestly there's nothing like wrong with it But it's not like amazing. It didn't like amaze me where yeah. I'm like, oh, it's a five Yeah, but also I really do like I said like the texture of it. The sauce is good It just is missing some type of protein or something That's... Which is what I honestly would rather almost add my own because a lot of times when you buy the meals like that I feel like it like adds points and then it doesn't give that much protein and yeah. I'd, I'd rather just add our own chicken So it is really good though. Yeah, I give it four and a half because it doesn't have that much protein like mm -hmm. if, it, if it had protein in it, if it stayed six points or five points for the serving, that would be perfect. Yeah. I probably would give it a five, cause, but honestly a lot because of, of the sauce. Yeah. The sauce is so good. Yeah. But honestly, yeah, six points for that serving is really not bad yeah. for a serving of pasta like this. Yeah. So. They had one other product. I think they had like gnocchi or something. So mm -hmm. I think next time we might have to try that one. Okay, the next thing we're trying is a beef jerky snack. So the brand is Strive, and I don't think we've tried this on a snack review. Strive? I feel like this, we've looked at yeah, it. Yeah, that looks familiar. I feel like we've looked at it because we've said we like the packaging and then yeah. we've just never ended up buying it. But maybe we have tried it. I don't know. I just definitely know we haven't tried this one, yeah. which is the thinly sliced steak. And it's just their original flavor. So this is two points for the serving of one ounce. And there's five servings in here, which I feel like actually it's pretty full for a beef jerky. Yeah. And so a fifth of this might be a decent serving for only two points. For that serving, it's 100 calories. It's got three and a half grams of fat and 16 grams of protein. So we're always looking for higher protein snacks. And honestly, the chicken meat sticks or like the chomps and stuff that we have, they're usually only like six to 10 grams of protein. So for an ounce to have 16 grams, that's pretty good. Yeah. It is just air-dried beef, 100 calories. Let's see how it is. 
We recently tried one from Aldi that was thin sliced jerky and we really liked it. So that's also why this caught my eye, which we found this at Walmart. It looks like dog treats, but I feel like it always does, but oh, it smells good. Mm, this one, Honestly, I feel like there's actually a lot of jerky in there compared to like when we buy just like regular beef yeah. jerky. But you can see it's very thin sliced. It honestly almost looks like bacon. It does. Two points for an ounce, which let me actually weigh that out and see how Do much it. it is. Because yeah, with the thin sliced, I think it would be more. So I got my food scale out to weigh it out. And this, if you can see all that, is a two point serving. This is one ounce of the beef jerky. So definitely big portions, I would yeah. say, for a jerky. Yeah. But let's go ahead and give it a try. That has really good flavor. I was gonna say it has like a unique taste to it and it's got clove and nutmeg. So that's oh. what that is. It's got like kind of like a spiced flavor to it, but it works, like it works with the yeah. beef. It's really flavorful and really kind of salty, mm -hmm. but in a good way. It's really good. It's definitely chewier than the one we got from Aldi, I feel like. It's a little bit chewier. It's not, I feel like the one from Aldi was a little like slimier though. Yeah, it did seem not as like dried out as this yeah. one. This one definitely seems a little bit more like beef jerky mm -hmm. than the other one, I feel like, but I really like it, honestly. Yeah. I wonder if they have other flavors of the thin sliced one, or if all of theirs are thin sliced. Cause like I said, I've seen this brand, but I don't think they're all thin like mm -hmm. that. I don't know. I don't think so. I think I prefer that type of jerky though. I really do like it thin sliced like that. I agree because it's easier to eat. <laughs> yeah. Three, two, one, four wow. and a half. Ooh. I bumped it up because that's a really good serving for only two points and a hundred calories, but it's got 16 grams of protein. Yeah. So, I think this will be like a snack that we eat a lot in the summer. I feel like we'll start buying this yeah, more. Yeah, definitely. Definitely something we'll repurchase. This is really good. Yeah, I want to see if there's other flavors. That's why I gave it a four, because I want to see if there's other flavors, and I want to give myself, I want to give myself one. leeway if I gotta do a four and a half or a five. So <laughs> thinking of the future. Is that how that works. <laughs> Okay, the next thing we're trying, Adam found this and he was super excited. So I think in our last one, we tried a Kinder sauce, but we just really love all the Kinder's products. Yeah. Both their sauces and their seasonings are really good. So they have some new hot sauces and this one is a green taco sauce with jalapeno and lime. For the serving of a teaspoon, it's got 10 calories and one carb and it's zero points on Weight Watchers. And of course, Adam's just always looking for new sauces. He probably would have rather gotten the red one because it was hot, right? Yeah, but I didn't want to. Yeah, this one's mild. I, I just saw it say it on there. Yeah. But yeah, I didn't want you to not be able to try it. <laughs> yeah, it's jalapeno and lime. I'm scared it's still going to be spicy, but it says it is good on tacos, burritos, nachos, eggs or hash browns, wings, chicken fingers, fries. Blend it with mayo for a spicy sandwich sauce. Mm. That's smart. My first thought was breakfast wraps. Yeah. And, and just eggs in general. Yeah. I love drizzling sauce on. I don't want to put too much just in case it's hot, but yeah. you get a lot. Thanks. <laughs> so zero points and we got it from Walmart. Cheers. Cheers. It definitely has a kick to it. Yeah, it does. Yeah, that's spicy. That's good. It's spicy. It's got a little <laughs> kick to it. It's definitely not mild, I wouldn't say. I'd say that's more medium. Really? Mm -hmm. My tongue's burning. It's got a weird taste to it. I don't know if that's just me. Do you see what I'm saying about like kind of a weird aftertaste? Or is that just me? You eat a lot of hot sauce and I don't, so maybe yeah. it's just like the hot sauce, like peppers. Yeah, I honestly like it. It's thicker than I thought too. For some reason I thought mm -hmm. it was gonna be like a thin sauce. I think yeah. that's gonna be perfect on a lot of things. Yeah. I think I'll probably use it on eggs, mm -hmm. but I feel like nachos would be really good. Not, yeah, very good. We're just using these regular plain chips with it, and it's like really good together. Yeah. The chips with the dip, or with the sauce. It's definitely spicy though. I wouldn't say it's mild. I would say it's at least medium. Yeah, but it, it has a kick to it. It definitely has a kick to it, but not too much. Like this is what I can handle usually. Mm -hmm. This is about like my limit, I would say, but. It doesn't stay. It kind of goes away. A little bit. It kinda <laughs> a stays, little bit. Kind of stays a little. <laughs> Three, two, one. Three. Five. Five? Yeah. What the heck? Yeah. I wasn't expecting that. I, it's, not, it's not my favorite Kinders. So I need like a different Kinders rating because like I've got a Buffalo and then that fire roasted one, but this is going to be good on like so many things. We need to just do a whole video of Kinder sauces that Seriously. we try. Yeah. I definitely like the other one that we get, the fire roasted yeah. one, but that one is points. So it's nice that this one's zero points. That's also why I give it a five. Yeah. They did have another one that was like a fajita sauce mm -hmm. that was new. And so now I, I should have grabbed that one too, but all. this is good. And I honestly love the bottles that they come in. I feel like it's so convenient. It's so nice to just have them in the squeeze bottles like that. It's not very messy. That's really good. It is good. I just, it's a little spicy for you're, me. Yeah. You're not a big spice person, but that, see, that's like a good spice for me to like douse stuff in. <laughs> 
And that's what I love. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the last salty thing that we're trying today is something that I've seen on TikTok a decent amount or just like online. I've seen a lot of people do this. I think most recently I saw Finally Allison doing it on Instagram. So I'll tag her page in the description, but pretty much all you do is you get a container of non-fat Greek yogurt. We just have this plain non-fat. And we just got this brand because first of all, they didn't have the Chobani one that we usually get. But also I like that this one was just 16 ounces. I don't know if the other one's usually bigger because yeah. they're the tall ones. Yeah, so it worked out well to be able to do it with this one because all you do is take a container of Greek yogurt and add a packet of this onion soup mix. This comes with two packets in it. I went ahead and dumped one in there. One packet is two points on Weight Watchers. And then each packet has four servings. So it's got 80 calories in the whole packet and about 16 carbs. But the Greek yogurt that we're using is zero. So that makes this entire thing of dip only two points. Like this entire thing. Which also has a lot of protein. This entire container has 47 grams of protein in it. So this could be a really good snack. We love the caramelized or whatever the onion dip from trader joe's is it called caramelized onion dip yes we love any french onion dip that's actually something we used to eat all the time before <laughs> we started our weight loss journey we would eat it with potato chips and so i'm really excited to try this do we have crunchy curls because that's kind of what i want to try it with Let's see. it definitely smells really really good it smells just like the trader joe's dip all right so we're just going to be trying it with crunchy curls these are from trader joe's and they're just a plain like lentil and potato snack that's what i usually prefer when i have the french onion dip from trader joe's that's why i want to try it with this but i'm hoping that it doesn't have too much of a greek yogurt flavor to it we'll see it smells really good though did you yeah. smell it no Ooh. it was so hard not to just <laughs> doesn't smell really good it does smell really good cheers cheers the crunchy curls are so stale It honestly tastes so similar to the Trader Joe's one. Almost identical. Yeah. And it doesn't have too much of like a Greek yogurt flavor. Like it's not that sour. Yeah. And now I feel like we've tried this one before and I feel like this one is a little more sour, but you can't taste it. I feel like it kind yeah. of works well with the onion. You kind of get that like sour and onion taste together, but. I almost wonder if this would be good if I used this to make two ingredient dough. Like Probably. if that would help to cover up the Greek yogurt flavor too. I don't know if we're just like used to the flavor of Greek yogurt because we use it a decent amount. Yeah. But really. We still use regular dips and stuff like that too. So this is really good though. This is amazing. It's definitely like worth the hype that everyone says it's really good. And it only took one packet. And, and two points two for points. The, the whole thing when normally it's like two or three points for two tablespoons. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah, that's crazy. And way more protein. Mm -hmm. And it tastes the same. Like it, it honestly tastes the it same. It does. It tastes just like the Trader Joe's one, which I don't know if the Trader Joe's one is supposed to be like a Greek yogurt one. Is it? I don't think it's a Greek I don't yogurt think dip. So that's better than I expected. Like I was scared Definitely. it was gonna have too much of like a Greek yogurt flavor. Let's try it with a chip just yeah. to see. It's so good. It's very very good. I think the only thing that's a little different is the texture is a little different. Mm. Yeah, it's a little thicker, but like mm -hmm. I almost kind of like that better. Yeah, I feel like this is something we're gonna make every week now. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know if we'll buy the Trader Joe's one again. This is, like, so. just as good, but way, way lower points. You could eat half this tub for a point. I could eat the whole tub, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're just rating the combination, I guess? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I already knew what was coming. I'm going to go uh, ahead and do three, two, one, five. five. <laughs> <laughs> it's way better than I expected. It really does cover up, like, the sourness of the Greek yogurt. Yeah. If you're picky with Greek yogurt, maybe you would notice more. But, like, I think we've gotten to the point where we just eat it enough that we don't really notice when it has like that. I don't know. It's a perfect amount. I was yeah. nervous I'd have to use, like, two packets, but mm. one is, like, perfect. Yeah. It's not too overpowering, but it, it definitely, like, I don't get a lot of Greek yogurt flavor. Yeah. It just tastes like a sour cream and onion dip. Yeah. And I think this is, like, double the size of the Trader Joe's dip we get, too. Yeah. So, like, the price is way less. The points are way less. I mean... That's, I think we found a winner. <laughs> and they had some other soup mixes too. Maybe we could try a few different dips like that. We need to start trying that because it's good, yeah. I feel like too, you could even do like half light sour cream with half of the Greek yogurt if you're like picky with that. And it would still work really well because technically they say to just use one envelope with one container of sour cream. So I bet this would be just as good with just some sour cream and yeah. stuff. We could mess around with it and see, but I'm down. that's really good. Okay, so moving on to some sweet things we're going to be trying today. Adam found this one. Where did you find this? Uh, Mariano's. Adam found this at Mariano's. So we really like the Kashi. I love to use it as a topping on my yogurt bowls. So this might be perfect, especially because I like to do blueberries in my yogurt. It is Kashi Blueberry Almond. It's got crunchy multigrain blueberry clusters with sliced almonds. 
For the serving of three quarter cup, it's 220 calories, four and a half grams of fat, 44 carbs. It's got eight grams of fiber, 11 grams of sugar, and six grams of protein. And it's serving seven points on Weight Watchers. But like I mentioned, I usually like to use just like a two point serving on my yogurt. So usually I'll just weigh it out to see how much I can have for two points. And usually it's like a third of the serving or something. So anyway. This is what it looks like. And I love dried blueberries. It looks like they have some in there. So that's gonna be really good too. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and try it. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, what I was gonna say is like, where are the almonds? You on can the see there's like a few. Yeah. Yeah, but there's not even like that many, even on the bottom. There's really like no almonds, but I really do like the dried blueberries. Yeah. It almost kind of tastes like blueberry waffles or mm -hmm. like, like I go blueberry waffles. Yeah, when I make my Kodiak ones. Yeah. It's pretty good. I feel like it lacks a little flavor. Yeah. It's not like all the way there. Like you're getting some mm -hmm. of the blueberry flavor, but it's like you could do just a little more. Yeah. But I think it would be a really good like crunch to add to yogurt and mm -hmm. stuff, especially with blueberries. So. I'll probably add, add it to my protein shakes. True. I'm going to have to try it out on my yogurt and see, but it's not bad. Yeah. I'm going to try another bite of it. I do like that it's like little pieces. Like... It's kind of hard to tell. It's not just like giant chunks. It's pretty much just like little bites, like kind of small granola. Yeah. I don't know. Because like the chocolate and peanut butter one, those have like almost like clusters. Yeah, which it seems like it's going to be clusters, but then in the bag, it's like separated and all just like small bites. Yeah. So I think seven points for three quarter cup is high, but that's how all the Kashi cereal is. Yeah. And again, I think of it as more of like a granola, but three, two, one, three. three. <laughs> it's just a little basic. I yeah. don't know. I was kind of hoping for a little bit more blueberry. I will definitely use that, but that's not my favorite kashi. Yeah, no. I definitely prefer the peanut butter and the chocolate over that mm -hmm. one. I think probably just because it's like sweeter too. I love the dried blueberries in it. I wish I had more almonds. Yeah. But I'm going to try it on my yogurt and see I'll how say, it is. I feel like yogurt would be good on there because you don't have, there's not a lot of sweet kashis that we try. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll add a good crunch to it and yeah. it'll go with the blueberry. Okay, the next thing we're trying, I'm excited to try. So these were sent to us by the brand Unreal. We actually recently tried one of their products in a snack review and when I tagged them, they had seen it. And so they sent us a few other things to try. I think these are new products of theirs. So super excited. We really liked the bars that we tried from them. They were like the peanut chocolate bars mm -hmm. or something like that. Yeah. But today we have some milk chocolate covered pretzels and then also some dark chocolate coconut covered almonds. Mm. So that sounds amazing. I love everything with coconut and of course covered in chocolate sounds really good too. Yeah, but chocolate covered pretzels are a weakness. <laughs> yeah, so for the serving, which is one ounce, it is six points on Weight Watchers. There's about three and a half servings in here. So I think that should be pretty decent for chocolate covered pretzels. But for that serving, it's 140 calories. It's got seven grams of fat, 17 carbs, seven grams of sugar, and two grams of protein. And with these, they're gluten-free, grain-free, less sugar and no soy ingredients so no sugar alcohols and no grain ingredients but let's see so for one serving i'm going to quickly weigh out an ounce oh that's more than i thought that is more than i thought oh it looks like each pretzel <laughs> so you can probably have about 10 pretzels it looks like yeah so it looks like the serving is this much for six points it's always hard to show and i always yeah. show my calluses from the gym and we have big hands so it doesn't really <laughs> yeah really yeah it's we do have really big hands, so whenever we show stuff, it really probably doesn't look like that much. You should put it in my hand. And like, it's like four. It is a decent serving, though, for six points for the ounce. But cheers. Cheers. I honestly like it because it's not over-the-top sweet. Like, yeah. it almost re reminds me of just more like semi-sweet chocolate chips. I know it's milk chocolate, but I like it a lot. I think I said this last time. I really like their chocolate. Mm -hmm. Like it's it's like the perfect amount of chocolate on there and I love chocolate covered pretzels and that was like amazing Yeah, so the the pretzels because I was gonna say the pretzels are really nice and crunchy yeah. They're grain-free pretzels. So they're made with like cassava flour oh. So it's more of like that type of pretzel which we've had before it doesn't really seem like it's like gluten-free though I don't notice that much. No. So especially if you're looking for something that's like gluten-free like this I think it's a good option and grain-free. I mean and those are really good definitely something we'd have to portion out because yeah. like I could probably just keep eating this bag Probably could eat the whole bag <laughs> Let's go ahead and try these almonds. So these are coconut coated and these are dark chocolate, which we haven't tried something dark chocolate from them, but no. they definitely smell good. You know, they almost smell like honey mamas yeah. and they kind of look like it. So this is what they look like. 
Mm. You can definitely see the coconut in yep. there. These are seven points for the serving, which makes sense, especially for almonds. That serving is an ounce. It's 160 calories, 13 grams of fat, 10 carbs, three grams of fiber, six grams of sugar, and four grams of protein. These are certified vegan, gluten-free, and also no sugar alcohols, no soy. They're just almonds, dark chocolate, and some coconut. Sweet. Cheers. Cheers. Are you okay? No. <laughs> What's wrong? This is so good. <laughs> it's like the perfect amount of chocolate. It's not like skinny dip. It's kind of like skinny dip though. It's not that much. Yeah. I love they put the coconut in the chocolate. Mm -hmm. Like that mixture is just so good. I was going to say it's the perfect amount of coconut. It's not like over the top, but it is enough. Yeah. It almost kind of does remind me of like the Girl Scout cookies that mm -hmm. have the coconut and stuff. Yeah. Those are really good. Those are really good. I don't know which one I like more. Me either. <sighs> like they're both good in their own way. I don't know. Are you going to rate them differently? Ah. <sighs> I think I'll go the same. <laughs> I think I'm gonna rate them the same too. And I like that there's no like fake sugar taste. I think that the chocolate's really good on them. Three, two, one, four and a half. Four and a half. I think that for the points, it's not bad. For a dessert yeah. and for chocolate covered pretzels, six points, and for nuts that are chocolate covered, seven points. It's really not bad. And you don't have to have a full serving. Like sometimes we just like to grab a couple. Yeah. That's really good. Which one do you like more? I'm Obviously, curious. Honestly, when I tried the pretzel, I thought I was eating the pretzel, but it's actually the almonds. Really? I love the coconut and the chocolate. Like that, that mixture is just so good. I, I kind of agree. And I feel like the almonds are kind of softer than mm -hmm. I expected. They're not like that, like dried out. Sometimes almonds can get kind of like dry and chewy, yeah. but they seem like they were like softer and yeah. like the chocolate was good. I don't know if the chocolate makes them softer, but these are really good too. I yeah. love how crunchy these are. It's like opposite. Yeah, it's so they're so good. Both of them are really good though. Yeah. So I'm going to look out for those and see which other ones they have too, because I know they have a lot of different stuff. They're the unreal chocolate and the brand in general, but yeah. those are really good. Okay. The next thing that we're going to try is another product that I found at Walmart and we've tried one of these before. They are the halo top light cake mixes that come in a cup like this and you can just microwave them. So this one is the strawberry flavor. It is eight points for this container. I went ahead and already made it. I kind of do like that you can just kind of pop these out, but really all you do is you mix the cake mix with three tablespoons of water and you microwave it for 60 seconds. And then you have a cake like this. So it's definitely cooked all the way through. So you can see it's like perfect cake consistency. It's pretty like spongy but smells like strawberry. I'm actually not a huge fan of like artificial strawberry and like cake and ice cream that's strawberry flavored, but I just thought this was interesting to try and we liked the other one a lot. Eight points is kind of high, but when it comes to like desserts like this, usually we would just buy one and split it between us. So yeah. four points for this isn't bad. I feel like maybe we could even add it to like a creamy or I something. I was gonna say like, like a mix in for a creamy would actually be good. Yeah. But for the entire thing, it's 170 calories. It's got four and a half grams of fat, 35 carbs, one gram of fiber, seven grams of sugar, and five grams of protein. It does say on here that comparing it to the leading cake mixes, they're usually 280 calories and 13 grams of fat for that serving. Whereas this one is 170 and four and a half grams. So eight points for this. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, with this one, I'm not a huge fan of the strawberry flavor, but again, I don't really like strawberry flavor things like that, but it kind of lacks just like the strawberry flavor. It yeah. doesn't seem like that much. I feel like you'd have to add strawberries to it or like put it on like with ice cream or something with strawberries to get that full flavor of strawberry. But, mm -hmm. but I think I would definitely buy the other one again because even like biting into this again, it's the perfect consistency and texture yeah. and fluffiness. Like I really do love the cakiness of it. Just personally, I don't really like the strawberry that much. I don't know if they had another one. They might've had a chocolate one too. So maybe I have to try that one yeah, out. <laughs> that's a good but all three. compared to the birthday cake one, I definitely like that one better. And just to have like a convenient one serving item like this that you can just make instead of having to make a full cake if I'm craving cake or something, it really is a nice convenient thing. Yeah. So I think for the product and everything, I do like it. Just it's the flavor I'm not a huge fan of. Mm. Three, two, one, three. three. Yeah, what uh, do you think? About? I like the birthday cake better. Um, I do like strawberry. That just, it didn't have a crazy amount of strawberry. But honestly, I feel like a mix in for a creamy, like, wouldn't be a bad idea. Mm -hmm. Do a low point creamy, and then you can add that in and make it like a strawberry cake shake type thing. So. Yeah, I think that'd be good. Not bad, but like I said, probably won't buy that flavor again. I want to try the other ones that they had. Yeah. But for a lighter cake option, it's a really good option. Okay, the last thing that we're trying is some American Dream Nut Butters. Mm. So we've tried these before and we really like the different flavors we got. We got a lot of people that recommended them to us, so that's what we tried. But they actually reached out to me and asked if there were any flavors we would wanna try. And these were two of the ones that I picked. So 
We've got Frosty Pebbles Almond Butter. I thought it sounded super unique, and we just like different almond butters. We like all types of butters. We like almond, cashew, yeah. and peanut butter. I have to say, I think cashew butter has become my favorite. I'm so excited for this one, and Adam noticed that it's got <laughs> a lot of stuff in there, but this one is Mason's Caramel Hot Fudge Sunday Cashew Butter. This sounds amazing, too. Let's go ahead and try the Fruity Pebble one first. I haven't mixed these up or opened them yet, so I might have to do that really quickly. But this one is four points on Weight Watchers for two tablespoons, which is a little bit lower, I feel like, for yeah. a nut butter. It's got 160 calories, 12 grams of fat, seven carbs, two grams of fiber, two grams of sugar, and seven grams of protein. It says oil separation is natural, so just stir and enjoy. And I feel like, like, fruity works with almond butters. I don't know. Yeah. I don't always like the fruity, like, peanut butters. Okay, and this one actually, you can see, so it's got the fruity pebbles on top. I'm so excited. But this one mixes so much easier. Look at oh, this. Yeah. This is actually like beautifully mixing. <laughs> Look at this. It's satisfying. I'm so excited because I love the fruit <laughs> ones that we've tried of like any peanut butter or yeah. or whatever. But oh, it I'm also so smells really good. Ooh. Doesn't that one smell good? Yeah. It, it smells like a. I was going to say it almost smells like a sundae. Yeah. And that's what this one's supposed to be. <laughs> It's, I was gonna say, it smells like cake or like dessert. It just smells like dessert. That's what I, I kind of picture Sunday. <laughs> okay, so four points for two tablespoons and let's give it a try. Cheers. Cheers. That's really good. That's really good. <laughs> I feel like the Frosty Pebbles, like that wouldn't work with other ones. Maybe it would be good in peanut butter or cashew butter, but I feel like it just goes perfect with the almond butter. Yeah. I didn't used to like almond butter and I like all theirs. Yeah. <laughs> they really do have some good options for them. It almost tastes like, like an almond cookie with like like Fruity Pebbles on it. Like, yeah. Like from like uh, crumble. I feel like it tastes like a crumble cookie almost. Yeah. And it's not like overpowering like sweetness or like mm. fruitiness. Like mm -hmm. it's just that subtle fruit flavor. Yeah. And four points for two tablespoons. I honestly think I'd really like this one in yogurt, which when we got their last ones, I like to use the almond butter in the yogurt. So yeah. even like a two point serving a tablespoon is like perfect amount to add. And so I like that it's a lower point too. Mm -hmm. Do we want to rate that one or do the next one? No, and then Let's do the next one then rate. Okay. So this is the Mason's Caramel Hot Fudge Sunday Cashew Butter. This one is 150 calories for two tablespoons. It's got 10 grams of fat, 10 carbs, one gram of fiber, four grams of sugar and seven grams of protein. So this one comes out to five points on Weight Watchers, which is weird because really the only difference is the sugar and the carbs, but I guess it makes enough of a difference. This one's gonna be a little bit more difficult to stir. If you guys can see, like there is so much topping. It almost looks like cinnamon toast crunch, yeah. but I feel like it's like waffle cone is what- I think it is, yeah, look right here. I'm guessing. The picture is Cause there's a bunch of one. waffle cone, yeah. Oh man, this one's oh, hard. Man. Okay. This one's much thicker. Did I say caramel? Cause that looks like caramel. Oh my gosh. I think there's a decent amount of caramel. That looks amazing. <laughs> I'm excited for this one. I don't want to lose any of the crunchies. Okay. So this one is five points for two tablespoons and looks really good. Cheers. Cheers. I really like cashew butter. Yeah. That's really good. That one's gonna be dangerous. And it, do it has like hot fudge, I feel like, and Caramel. Yeah, you definitely taste the caramel. Mm -hmm. That's good. I honestly don't know though. I really like the almond butter one. And I thought I'd like the cashew butter one. Are you doing different or the same? I'm doing different. Same. My top one is going to be the Frosty Pebbles. Same. My bottom's going to be the Sunday. Same. Three, two, one. Four and a half. Ooh, and four. Flipped. Wait, that's the fruity. Yeah, this is the Pebbles yep. one. So you said a four and I yep. said four and a half. Yep. And then the cashew butter, I said four, you said four and a half. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. I'm surprised you like the cashew butter more. I honestly didn't think I was going to. <laughs> I think it's honestly like the, the waffle pieces and the mm -hmm. caramel. Like just a crazy amount of caramel, at least the flavor. And cashew butter in general is I so yeah. good. It has such good flavor. And usually I like the cashew butters the most, but for some reason that almond butter is, I really like it. And I'm excited to add it to my yogurt. You pick some good ones. Also, I like it because it's lower in points, but one point difference isn't huge. Yeah. But yeah, these are good. Mm -hmm. I'm glad we tried these ones. Ooh. So. Okay, that wraps up everything that we're trying today. We tried a lot, and mm -hmm. I'm honestly feeling full. That was like a lot yeah. of good stuff. But what was your favorite salty? I think we kind of agree. Yeah, that, and then this is my honorable mention because I also gave it a five. Yeah, but this with the Greek yogurt dip is just yeah. so good, and I'm excited now to just do more like that. Right? Like, I thought that it would have such a sour taste to it from the Greek yogurt plain, but it's really good. And then for sweets, I was gonna say these are my I, two favorite. I think. I think. I think of that. Yeah. I mean, I'll go. Yeah, my the one I like better. But yeah. 
Okay, that wraps up everything that we're trying today. I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful. We always love to try new things like this and to find things that we are gonna repurchase that help us to stay on track with our journey. I know that we found multiple things today that we will definitely be repurchasing. Oh, so yeah. if you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.